Okay, just a quick look at what we have learnt today. Robert Phillipson. Mm -hmm. oh, his, two, ah, his two main books. Um, first one, Linguistic Imperialism. Um, which looks at um, the spread of English all around the world and the hegemony of um, the white hegemony in post-colonial places like Africa and Asia and how it um, can be really negative for ethnic minorities. The Europe one obviously looks at Europe. Um, I'll just move down to the keywords because that really sort of shows his main idea, shows Philipson's main idea. Um, okay, here we go. Actually, this is a good quote, which he used in the intro to one of his books. Um, oh, dear. Sorry, Peter. I might make it too long and not let me email it. Blah, 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 blah. I should be using pages. Not bloody word. Uh, key theories, the hegemony of English. Rah. The Okay, so here's two quotes that just kind of show his point. Quote one, the union shall respect cultural, religious and linguistic diversity, but yet we have the ombudsperson for human rights in Bosnia saying, no one pays attention unless you speak English, because English is the language of power. So let's, mm, it's a really awkward definition, but basically defines English, uh, linguistic imperialism. Linguicism, the ideology, structures and practices which are used to legitimate, effectuate and reproduce the unequal division of power through language and based on language, so like racism but based on language. Now he didn't coin ethnocentricity but I think he did coin anglocentricity, the practice of assuming that all other languages and cultures should be judged against English norms. The way he uses professionalism is a bit different. He talks about um, almost like um, ELT teachers who've got the blinkers on and they don't really look at the context in which they're teaching and they just get down to the nitty-gritty and ignore that they could be actually doing some serious political damage to possibly minority kids that they're teaching. Um, he connects linguistic rights with human rights um, da, da, da. This is a great quote. This is sort of his main idea. Anglocentricity and professionalism legitimate English as the dominant language by rationalising activities and beliefs which contribute to the structural and cultural inequalities between English and other languages. The professional discourse around ELT disconnects culture from structure by limiting the focus in language pedagogy to technical matters, that is, language and education in a narrow sense, to the exclusion of social, economic and political matters.